Hey there, Minecrafters. Uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. Uh, not so much a Let's Play or a how-to video, um, not a tour or anything like that. Uh, I have an idea, and it's kind of a partially formed idea. I've got it down to the point where I think I think it would be pretty useful. But uh, this this particular cobblestone generator, which I'll explain in a moment, isn't really the right design for this. I just used it because it's the easiest cobblestone generator to build, and uh, at least for me, it's the one I'm most familiar with. Uh, earlier today, my friend Cheesius uh, demonstrated his XP grinder, which was made using a um, mob mob spawner from like a dungeon. Uh, in his case, it spawned skeletons. And he had a really interesting video where basically he stood in the in the sweet spot. That's the, the place that you have to stand in order for the mobs to generate. It's far enough. It's you know it's close enough to the spawner to generate mobs, and far enough away so that they don't despawn when there's more than 16. So um, he had to stand in that little sweet spot, and he basically left his computer online, went to the grocery store for an hour and a half, came back, and he had like hundreds of skeletons all piled up in this one little spot. And it seemed like a great idea, except I felt like he could have been doing so much more while standing there doing nothing. Uh, I The other day I modified my cobblestone generator, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, to uh, basically allow me to mine infinitely, or at least until the pick ran out. Uh, that was a pretty good idea, but of course, the pick ran out. I've done a little research, and it turns out that each of the different pickaxes uh, will generate a different number of blocks. Uh, to start with, for example, the uh, gold pickaxe, which I don't recommend using, uh, it only can pick out 33 blocks, and nine picks, uh, nine gold picks would only produce four and a little bit more stacks, about half. So uh, this is really not a good, not an efficient use of materials by any means. Uh, the uh, the wooden pickaxe, on the other hand, generates 60 blocks, and nine picks, nine wooden picks would actually produce eight eight plus stacks of uh, cobblestone from your generator. Um, now this, of course, is assuming you have a completely lossless generator, which the current example in the video doesn't, but anyway. Uh, again, not the most efficient use of materials, because if you've got wood and you've got a cobblestone generator, why aren't you making stone picks? I don't know. Alright, well the uh, stone pickaxe, on the other hand, generates 132 blocks. So nine picks. Again, that number I'm basing it on how many you could load into a dispenser. Uh, nine picks would produce 18 plus stacks of cobblestone. Not bad. Now here's where we get into the really interesting stuff, though. Iron pickaxe. The iron pickaxe can pick out 251 blocks all by itself. Nine of those will produce 35 plus stacks. It's actually like 35.29, something like that. So. Um, this is, this is the pick to use if you want to do it. If you can afford the iron, uh, if you want to full run and completely fill your inventory, this is the way to do it. Now the uh, diamond pickaxe, on the other hand, can, generate, can pick out 1,562 blocks, which, you know, nine of those picks would be 219 stacks. Obviously we don't need that many stacks, so you wouldn't need nearly as many diamond pickaxes if you wanted to use those. Uh, again, diamonds are very rare. Iron's pretty common. Iron might be the way to go. Stone, of course, completely renewable, but it only generates 18. And uh, you'd actually need to refill the, the... What do you call it? The dispenser. Uh, if you wanted to continue mining and fill up your entire inventory. So, that might be good for half an inventory full of calm stone. Anyway, let's get back to the uh, cobblestone generator, and I'll show you how these modifications worked. Okay, so we're back in Minecraft now, and uh, as you can see, I've got the cobblestone generator that I made in my previous uh, Let's Play video. Let's get up here. As you can see, it's pretty... or not Let's Play, what do you call it? It was in the how-to video. Yeah, whatever. I don't know what to call it. So, as you can see, I've dropped a few special blocks. That's just so that I know 
you know, what we're going to change. Um, but the cobblestone generator, as you can see here, works exactly the way you'd expect it to, just like so. Uh, this generator is not completely lossless. When you're in survival mode, you knock out a block. Sometimes the blocks can go back into the lava, so that produces uh, less than a perfect yield. Ideally, you'd want to use like a piston-powered generator where the pistons and the lava and all that are below it and it's like pushing up the cobblestone to a, like a second story or a second level where there's another water trough that gathers all the drops. I've got a design in mind for one of these builds. I just haven't actually got it working yet in survival mode. So for now, we're going to use this one because this is where I had the idea. To modify this generator, let's see, what did I want to do? Well, I um, I wanted to be able to sit AFK and mine, and as you can see here, if you're standing right here, you, you have to move back and forth in order to get both of these blocks. So my idea was to find a way to shoot through and basically be able to mine one block out, perhaps by standing right here, and be able to do this without moving my mouse. That's the idea. So I knocked out that block there. And then I decided that obviously, you know, I'm going to need the water to come over here. So I made a little wall. Oops, excuse me. A little wall right here. Like so. And knocked out the water. And now all the water, as you can see, flows here, flows around this corner. There are no catches for, you know, no place for drops to collect elsewhere. Then over here, I decided to put a pressure plate. Um, this is an a new idea that I've had for stopping water flows. Um, I'm not saying it's like new, like no one's ever thought of it before, but it, it's new to me. So I had this idea that basically you stand on the pressure plate and you know you're in the right spot. Alright, so this is how you could sit here and mine cobblestone for hours at a time. You could put a weight down on your keyboard and knock out block after block after block. And at the length of time at which it takes to um, mine out one block or two blocks, usually one of these two blocks will have come back by then. So that works out pretty well. Now the idea that I had, uh, as I said, was about using a dispenser. And the idea behind that was basically to put a dispenser here that would be full of pickaxes that would periodically drop a pickaxe into the trough and load it up for me. So what I did here was uh, put the uh, dispenser here. You can see it's pointing in this way. And I put an extra block right over here. And then I put some redstone right up there. Now when you step on the pressure plate, as you can hear, it's triggering the dispenser as well. Okay, so now the next part really is to load up the dispenser. And we'll go ahead and do that now. And then I'm going to hop over to uh, uh, survival mode so we can see this in action, and I'll explain what that little stack of cobblestone is all about in a second. Alright, we're back and in survival mode now. Uh, as you can see, I still have a few of these creative mode items. I'll go ahead and throw them here in the lava because we don't need them cluttering up the experiment. Excuse me, wrong button. There we go. That that, and that. Okay. Careful not to step on the pressure plate just yet. Okay. Now, I had another thought when I was thinking this up. As, uh, as drops come down the trough, of course, they take a little time to do so. And if you were standing right there and picking out these two blocks back and forth, and your pick broke, the possibility could exist that those blocks could come down here, finish up a stack, and then start a new stack where your tool was. Uh, because uh, the... Well, let me go ahead and put this here. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it, when, when drops come into inventory, they will, usually, they will always prefer to start down here un in the hotbar unless there is a stack of that item already started. And I had this idea that the way around that was to start every single spot in the inventory, like this. It turns out that if you leave one space open for a pickaxe, there are 35 stacks. And as you may recall, the iron pickaxes 
9 iron pickaxes can pull 35 stacks of cobblestone. So, now we have all these starts, and they're basically seeded stacks. So, under no circumstance except for one will blocks ever appear down here in this in this last hotbar spot. And that's, of course, a situation in which we can have no more cobblestone anyway. So, let's go ahead and grab a pickaxe, and we'll see this thing in action. Waiting for it. There it comes. Alright. So let's go ahead and stand right here, shoot here. And what I did was I put... Let's see, I put... I went to my controls, and I changed my attack button to the letter P. Now, there's no particular reason why it had to be the letter P. It was just the first letter that came to mind. Um, but uh, it's a letter on the keyboard, so that I can put a weight on the letter and mine infinitely. And just keep mining and mining and mining and mining. Now, if this spot where I'm standing right now were also the sweet spot that created or allowed new mobs to be generated in the experience grinder, I'd be killing two birds with one stone here. I could get up, walk away from the computer for a while, with no worries about it taking up any any more time or effort. Uh, just put a weight on the letter P here and move right along. As you can see, the generator in this case is dropping a few blocks of cobblestone periodically into the lava. Don't worry about that, because I think this would be done better with a slightly different cobblestone design, which would involve pistons that I'm working on prototyping right now. So, basically the idea at this point is that once your pickaxe was used up, and we'll go ahead and simulate that by throwing it away, you'd be sitting here and you'd be stuck in this position, still mining away like this. But of course, you'd just be punching the rock, which wouldn't create drops, you would just periodically destroy the block. So let's say you got you set your computer up to do this, you walked away, maybe it's maybe it's the big Super Bowl day or you got a movie to watch or something. And you come back periodically and you find yourself punching the rock, all you gotta do is just back up and step forward again. And very soon we will see another pickaxe pop into that hotbar spot and we'll start using it immediately. Now, I feel like there's got to be a way to do this using a timer instead of a pressure plate. Uh, obviously you could use a button or a lever to activate it, but that would involve stopping mining and pressing the button or pressure plate, whereas you can keep doing the attack by holding down P and still use S and W to back up and walk forward again. Alright, as you can see here, I'm at the uh, Minecraft wiki page, and there is a, a chart here that tells you the durability of particular pickaxes, um, based on what material they're made out of, and of course how long it takes to mine a particular substance using that pick. Uh, a stone pickaxe, for example, you can pull 132 blocks per pickaxe, and you can get um, 0.75 seconds per block. So, for example, if you wanted to use a timer to control the delivery of the pickaxe, you would need to do uh, 0 0.75... Well, let's see here. Okay. So basically you'd need to take uh, 0 0.75 times... Let's see, what is that here? Um, 0.75 times 132. Uh, so that would be 99 sec seconds. 99 seconds? Yeah. Okay. So you need a timer that was 99 seconds. We'll divide that by 60 just so we get an idea. And basically you need a minute and a half, roughly, before the next pickaxe gets delivered. Of course, if you don't get the timing exactly right, you'll have pickaxes showing up before you need them and before you have a space opening your inventory for them. So it's kind of a kind of a tricky thing to balance, and I think the pressure plate concept is probably the strongest one. Uh, of course, it doesn't allow you to leave the house, uh, but if you had an iron pickaxe, or excuse me, a diamond pickaxe, you could mine. Uh, like I said, 1,000 
562 pickaxes, uh, which is 219 stacks for 9. Uh, if we just did, uh, let's see, 1,562 divided by 64, uh, that's 24 stacks. So just one diamond pickaxe would give you enough to fill up almost you know, a good two-thirds of your inventory there. And that would let you, um, you could put a diamond pickaxe in your character's hand and set it up, put a weight on the letter P, and leave the house for a while and come back and you'd have 24 stacks of cobblestone as well as a mob grinder full of mobs. So that's that's the idea is to get double use here out of, out of your time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, break this video off here, uh, but as a proof of concept, I think it's a pretty good one. And I'm hoping that someone else can do something more interesting with this idea.